so last night I posted a video about the Ruxu 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery and we talked about the build quality and some of the problems that people may have in the long run when using these batteries. Well I had a second one laying around and I just ripped it apart and they have a different BMS and the heat sink is not touching the cells and there's a divider and they're using longer prismatic cells but it seems like the same manufacturer with aluminum case. And I was not expecting that. I thought all the Ruxus would be the same because on the outside, they look identical, but these are totally different batteries. So let's take it apart. Oh my God, this thing is huge. That's what she said. <laughs> all right, look at the size difference. This is the BMS from this one, and this is a newer battery. And this is the older one. Look how big this thing is. That's nuts. And how they wired it up is so much better. Look at this, a single wire going to the negative, then we have positive and nice balance leads. This is how it should be. This one doesn't have that. And even the balance cable is taped down. Like this one is well built, but this is an older battery. I got this like eight months ago. This one's a newer battery. The new batteries have lower quality components than the older ones. No wonder it passed my test. Actually, you guys get this. They sent this out to me knowing I would do a YouTube video review and it passed my capacity test. This is a defective unit, but it came from a customer. They shipped this out to a customer. So what I'm thinking is they gave me a super beefed up battery and then they shipped out these bad cheap BMS ones to all the customers. I mean, there is no comparison here. I mean, even having five wires on this side and four on this side, 14 gauge, this is crazy. Why would they use this when they have these available? And I don't think this is just rated for 100 amps. I think they gave me a 200 amp BMS and then wanted me to test it like this. But these have the same exact boxes. They are the same battery advertised in all the same metrics, but they gave me this to review. So, wow guys, this is crazy. I mean, did you guys see how they mounted this? There was no barrier. This one actually has a barrier. It's a fiberglass shield. This isn't the most scientific test, but look how small these MOSFETs are. Look at these ones, they're massive, and there's more of them. What we should do though is weigh these because these cells are a different shape than these ones, but I wanna see if maybe they gave me larger cells so that my test would come out better. I also noticed, check this out, we have green paper in these types of vents, but on this one, we have these kinds of vents and it's a black paper, so these might actually be different lithium cells. I think Ruxu is just buying cheap stuff and throwing them together under the name of a single product, and they probably just get hundreds of BMSs for cheap and just throw them in a box. That's, I think that's what they're doing. All right guys, I just went to Goodwill and bought this for eight bucks and we're gonna weigh these batteries. So the weight of these batteries is not enough to make this thing work. So I'm gonna have to hold them in my hand and then weigh myself before and after. So I just weighed these by holding them while I stood on the scale and they weigh the exact same amount down to a 0.1 of a kilogram. So these are the same size batteries, but they are not the same batteries. But now that we know the differences between these two batteries, namely the BMS and how it's wired, I'm pretty mad. This is not okay. The fact that when I get a battery for review and it's different than the same exact battery with the same exact case and stats is not fair. It is a different product. And if you have a UPC and they change it this much, they should get into trouble for it because this is a different product. You are not selling the same product. And I'm guessing Ruxu probably just buys cheap BMSs. They probably have some other versions of this they just throw them around. Or they were deceptive and they sent me a really good one that they know would test really well in my video and then sold off all the cheaper ones to the people that bought these. So yeah, this is off of my website for all of time. I will never trust this company again. So now the next question is, how do these compare to higher quality batteries? So Battleborn, Simplify, and most of the other ones that are installed by professional companies, they're usually B2B battery manufacturers, they will have safety certifications. And Simplify is UL listed. So for those ones, I don't even have to open them up. But after seeing this, we have to open those ones up because I wanna see what the difference is. 
how the wires are soldered, what size wires they're using, what size BMS, how it's protected from the cells, and so much more. I think it'll be very interesting. But man, this sucks. I can't believe they did that. Can you guys believe that? This is like something that you should never find. This is deceptive advertising. They make YouTubers make these videos, and look at this thing. This thing's huge. This is like a 200 amp BMS. And it's just a huge bummer. Like we were all let down. We trusted them and we thought that they had a decent product. There are so many tricks that we keep finding these battery manufacturers doing and it's not okay. Something though that all batteries should have that I'm thinking about now is safety certification and UL listing if possible. If it has those, you know that you're getting what you're paying for. And what's crazy to think about is that this exact same thing could be happening in other batteries from China. Obviously, I mean, I mean there are so many other battery manufacturers that sell these cheap lithium iron phosphate batteries online, and I bet you anything they're doing the same thing. There's no way, there's no telling. You can easily hide stuff in those battery cases. Moving forward, I'm gonna send Ruxu the pictures of these BMSs and try to get an explanation and see what they have to say. I will update you guys on the forum because I don't wanna make another video about this. I do not want any more media coverage for Ruxu. But if you guys wanna know more about what happens and if they have an excuse, which might be pretty interesting, check out the forum. It's at DIYSolarForum.com. And yeah, I hope you guys like this video. I was not expecting this. I just wanted to make a quick battery, 24 volt, and then this happens, so yeah, this is nuts. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching, bye.